During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about the Ag PhD Field Guide app. All right, so you hear field guide and you say, well, what does that necessarily mean? Well, there's a lot of things out in your fields. One of them that we're going to talk about is weeds. We've got a number of weeds listed on the Ag PhD Field Guide app where Brent and I have gone through, looked at what controls these weeds in different crops, and then just telling you a little bit more about the background of these weeds so you understand them better. So if you're thinking, well, man, I wish the weed of the week this week was Palmer pigweed, guess what? You can go onto the Ag PhD Field Guide app and look up different pigweeds and get them under control on your farm. Okay, so not only do we have pictures on there and a little about identification and just some general information about that weed, but we have how to control it in corn, in soybeans and in wheat and occasionally for a few other crops but typically it's corn soybeans and wheat we also have control methods of insects so a number of different insects are in there as well so when you're searching through you can search weeds and insects well and speaking of insects one of the things that we've done in this app we've partnered with fmc and fmc has their hatch track available as well so you can see where bugs are getting a start this season and you know what? Oh boy, we see this bug is getting a start in Oklahoma and now it's in Kansas and now it's moved up to Nebraska. You can kind of track those along throughout the season and then you can look at what's happening in your particular area too based on the growing degree units and you know what's happening with this year's weather. The other thing you'll find in the Ag PhD Field Guide app is our daily radio updates. We provide these six days a week just to give you more agronomic information. Well, the Ag PhD Field Guide app is free to use on your smartphone or tablet, so download it today, and it may just help you with solutions for our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed?